All right, here's our next example. Set up the integral. So we don't even need to evaluate this. All we need to be able to do is set up the integral. Set up the integral, which finds the volume of the solid form by revolving about the x-axis, so that piece of information must be given, the region bounded by, and then there are our, uh, our uh, values are that determine this region. We have y equals, x, f of, uh, y equals x squared, that's this parabola. We have x equals 1 half is the left edge, x equals 1 is the right edge, and the bottom is the x-axis. So I'm going to take this region and rotate it about the x-axis, and get. And we're going to form, rather. it's going to be rather like a, a trumpet horn that's been cut off, or a trombone horn that's been cut off. And so if you, if you rotate that, the picture, I think, would look something like that. It's going to get rotated here. You're going to get the bell of a trumpet that's been cut off. All right? Now, we want to take, so what, what is our volume? We know volume is pi, a to b. I need the radius function squared dx. The question is, what is the radius? If I take any particular point on the axis of revolution, the question is, what is, what is that radius? Well, the radius is the function value. The limits of integration are determined by the left and right endpoints of the interval of interest. And we're revolving about the x-axis, and so this, the, the, bound, the bottom boundary is this x-axis. All right, and so a is, what's my number, one-half to one. I need the radius, which in this case is simply the function value. The function value is x squared. The radius squared, squared, squared. And you're done. That is, all you've been asked to do is set up the integral. And as in practice, once you once you go out and become mid-level engineer of something, something, corporation somewhere, once you have the integral set up, you can take this integral, throw it into a machine. The machine will actually tell you the number we're looking for. Uh, I worked it out. It's some god-awful number. It's I, If I did this correctly, it's something like 155 pi over 800, some god-awful terrible number. I believe this works out to be approximately uh, 0 0.609, and the units are in whatever units this is measured in, so I'm not going to worry about units. Um, this is not important for me. What I want you guys to be able to do is, given this description, be able to set up the integral that corresponds to that region, the, the volume of that region.